What an amazing song. Queen and Who Wants to Live Forever. And there's really only one way you can follow a song like that, and that is with the gentleman who wrote it. It's an absolute honour to welcome to the programme today the great Brian May. Good morning. That's very kind of you, Graham. Good morning to you. What an amazing song that is. Thank you. Goodness me. And when you look at the back catalogue of, well, not just Brian May songs, but Queen songs, so many to choose from, it's been a really difficult task for me today to decide what songs to play. Um, wonderful collection of music. Thank you very much. Great. Well, thanks for having me on the programme. I appreciate you giving me a voice, as it were. Well, indeed. We, we're going to play a few of the Queen's songs today, but there's an important issue uh, at the moment that, that you want to talk about, and I'm delighted to welcome you to the programme to tell me a little bit more about a group that you founded. Uh, there's a website for people to have a look at. It's www.save-me.org.uk. Tell me about the Save Me campaign, Brian. Well, you know, I'm a bit of a reluctant soldier, really, because I like making music and I like a peaceful life. But I've been so outraged by the fact that um, David Cameron is going to bring back fox hunting. I just had to get off my backside and do something. And the more that I've got into this, I mean, my campaign is purely about animals. It's not a political campaign. It's just, please, let's keep the ban on fox hunting in place. And f not just fox hunting, but stag hunting and hare coursing and a few other things besides which are, are so horrific in my mind that I, I can't believe that, that Cameron has raked all this up again because by democratic process we have a law in place which protects these beautiful animals. Uh, it's called the Hunting Act of 2004 and, um, and of course it's in great danger. I suddenly realised a few weeks ago that we're within an ace of, of losing that protection for animals and I think it would be a tragedy beyond belief for this country. <laughs> You say David Cameron and the Conservative Party are going to bring uh, fox hunting back. Is, is that a fact? Is that in their manifesto? You know, they've been so clever because a few months ago every, they were all boasting about the fact that um, within a week or, or within a month of them coming to power they would smash the Hunting Act. But they've toned it all down very much because they've realised that most of the British public don't want that. So they realise now that if they say we're going to get rid of the, the Hunting Act... Um, it's going to be a vote loser. So now they've got this incredibly clever patter worked out. I mean, you, you might think I'm making this up. It sounds like conspiracy theory, doesn't it? But it's, it's absolutely true. If you listen to Cameron uh, trying to answer questions on Fox Hunting, he'll go, oh, well, it's not important. And, and we don't really want, you know, some of us want to bring it back and some of us don't. We're going to have a free vote. Everyone can vote according to their own conscience. And you think, oh, what a nice guy. But actually, it's all been planned for years and months and all the, the fox hunting people are in the, the positions of power in, in the Conservative Party. It's basically become the countryside, you know, an extension of the, of the countryside alliance. So they're within an ace of pulling off this incredible coup of forcing the whole country to allow them to bring back fox hunting. It, it's a, an incredible piece of um, sort of Machiavellian strategy, really. And they, they're almost getting away with it. I mean, they may get away with it, in which case I may have to slip my wrists. Well, don't do that. <sighs> well, you know, I, I, more and more every day I realise what terrible peril we're in. They're also committed, and this is absolutely, this is, this is in the manifesto, they're committed to culling our native badgers instead of the vaccination programme which Hillary Benn has in place at the moment. You see, I've I noticed on the Save Me website, um, you've got the support from our three main political parties. I have indeed, yeah. It's, it's a very complicated situation because there are a few Conservatives who are very much against repealing the ban. There's actually 26 of them and I know exactly who they are now and they're good people. Um, but the vast majority of, of the Conservative Party are in favour of favour of the repeal, and um, if you write to them, as we have been, we've been writing to all MPs across the board. If you write to the Conservatives about this, mainly you get a standard letter back, which has very standard phrases in which they must have been given, um, it basically evading the issue. Um, the Lib Dems are split down the middle. I have to say most Lib Dems that we've heard back from are in favour of keeping the ban in place and protecting the foxes. Now you've contacted all of the, the main political parties all about this. Indeed, yes, and I've spoken to a lot of the, uh, the leading chaps as well. It's been a fascinating journey for me. Um, and I have a little bit of an advantage because people will talk to me because of who I am and because mm. of what Queen has been. 
so they'll give me, uh, they'll let me in the door, which has been great. So I've talked to people on, on all sides and been able to really find out what's going on. Where did this love of animals and wildlife come from for Brian May? <laughs> 